They prostrated themselves and did him homage. My dear brothers and sisters, once again, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yes, a Merry Christmas too, because Christmas time is not over. This weekend, uh, we are celebrating the Feast of the Epiphany, the Feast of the Manifestation of the Glory of God to all the peoples of the earth. Today's readings are filled with images which convey the message of this festivity. The prophet Isaiah proclaims to Jerusalem that the glory of the Lord dawns upon the holy city, that the light shines and dispels darkness. Today, we see Jesus as the light to the peoples, the light that shines victoriously over the darkness of our flaws and our sins. The light of Christ is love peace and infinite mercy. In his Gospel, St. Matthew tells us about the Magi's encounter with the light of the nations. They asked for the newborn king. We saw his star at its rising and hath come to do him homage. In this Gospel, the words that catch my attention the most are, they prostrated themselves and did him homage. When we experience an encounter with Jesus, when we see him as our God and Savior, when we discover him as our friend and fall in love with him, then, just like the Magi from the East, we prostrate ourselves and do him homage. As the Magi did, we should offer the Lord Jesus, the best of ourselves. They open their treasures to the God child. My dear brothers and sisters, let us open our treasures, our hearts, to the light of the Lord, so that it will enlighten us, guide us, and bless us always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.